So I just started the 30 day decluttering challenge and actually already finished it. Here you can see there's hundreds of items, pens, crayons and these little things. I have done a lot of challenges but I have to admit this was really the easiest one. I, I cannot understand how can someone find this difficult to do. Uh, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Nah, I'm just joking. This is actually, we calculate this as one, one item, so this is four. So this is not, we don't want to make it so easy after all. Let's get to the real challenge. So we just finished to watch the new Matt Diavella's documentary called The Minimalist Less Is Now. It's about minimalism and decluttering your house from the things that don't actually bring value in your life. So at the end of it there was this 30 day challenge and the idea was that the first day you would give away one item and the second day two items and so on. So at the end of it you would get rid of um, 465 items in total. At first we thought that there's no way we could do this challenge being already minimalist and having not actually that much things to declutter in our house. But after giving a second thought we decided to do the challenge anyway. Not to get until the day 30 but to see how far we could actually get. The only difference is that we won't do this challenge individually, but as a family. So, as one. <laughs> yeah, so basically yeah. as one. And as uh, Dr. Dine Barahona says in the documentary, no matter where we are in our journey towards less, we are always going to be pulled in that direction. The direction of comparison, the direction of being overwhelmed by the media. And the truth is we have to constantly refocus ourselves. So for us, this challenge presented a great opportunity to check on our own journey, to see things that we have collected on the way and double check if we still need them, even if we are already living a minimalist lifestyle. We moved in this apartment around five months ago and we designed the interiors having minimalism in our minds. So having only things that give us value. And as you can see, we don't have that much stuff around. It will probably be a difficult month for us, but we still believe we can get at least to like day 20 or so. Mm -hmm. So it would be around how many items? <laughs> well, it was, let's see how good you are in math. So now let's get to it. Little awkward high five there. And here we are day one, we get rid of this chair. We decided to do this challenge going room by room to make sure to not forget anything. Yeah, we started from the entrance, then we went to living room. And we found, of course, games, books, VHS, DVDs, magazines, a lot of things like this. Very nice composition, symmetrical. Hey, I tried. <laughs> Here are some souvenirs from Egypt I have kept from years. Thought back in the day that they were cool. Some old school pictures here. And the box of crayons. Here we get into day 12, which reminds me of another video that we did that was 12 things I don't buy anymore to sustain mental clarity. So if you are into this minimalism kind of videos, make sure to check that one out. And already starting from the day 13, the challenge became even more serious because there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's starting to get difficult to find this many things. We are currently in the wardrobe here. And here's some socks, day 15. In Finland. Finnish people have a lot of socks. Yes, we do, because it's for all the seasons. <laughs> <laughs> I 
We are getting to the kitchen already, some old calendars and cookbooks. And especially in the kitchen, there was a lot of stuff to get rid of. Actually, we didn't buy these things, but they were left there by people who lived here before us. And when we first moved here, we had decided to keep them just in case we might need them one day. After living here some time, we noticed that actually we don't need them ever. And the good thing is that we are giving to back to the people, asking if they might need them still to make a good use of these items that we don't need anymore. Day 20, we just passed our goal. Yep, so this was our goal, the, to get until 20 days. Here we are, and let's see if we can get until day 21. There we go, day 21, that's really nice and we are still in the kitchen so I feel like there's still a lot of things to get rid of. So today is the, um, the 23rd of January, it's the day 23 for our challenge and yeah. we are still in the kitchen currently, <laughs> it's, we have been here for like a week. Um, yeah. It has been actually a successful room because, <laughs> yeah, because of this. Yeah, I mean we found here much more stuff that we expected and because of exactly this reason now we are kind of pass already the goal that we had for, yeah. for 20 days. Yes. Yeah, but now it's getting like we are really struggling. Yeah. Like after this room, yes. we know that there's not too much left. stuff anymore. So maybe a couple of yes. days so we can, but now we know already that day 30, it's mm. we cannot get until there. No. But we <laughs> yeah. are still very satisfied of the journey so far. It hasn't been too easy, but I mean, it has been nice at least yeah. so far. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's see how far we can get. Yeah. And here we go again, back in the action, day 24. Now we are getting to the big stuff, not anymore in some specific room, but we are just getting rid of all the stuff. We already went to the attic as well to check if there are some old stuff that we don't need and we found some old lamp and frames, things like this. Yeah, because at this point of the challenge was super difficult. We yeah. really felt we couldn't go forward anymore. Yeah, we just went through all the rooms again and checked every little thing that we might not need for anymore. And here's the nice pile of things from 25 days uh, until so far that we collected. Quite a lot of stuff I must say. So here we are, the challenge is finally done. Hmm. We were right at the end, we could get, uh, go forward just a little bit yeah. more. We got uh, until, well, basically the day 26. And we have the last box here, it has probably around 30 items in it yeah because for us the point of the challenge wasn't just to get the challenge done but of course to get rid of the stuff that we didn't know we didn't need anymore so it was yeah. more an opportunity so of course like 
yeah, we couldn't go forward with the challenge, but of course we will still get rid of more stuff and we call this box day 26. So during this challenge, the difficult part was to decide should we keep this item or should we not? Yeah, because there's a very thin line between I like it and I need it. Yeah. But on the other hand, it was really easy to keep up with the motivation with this challenge. Mm. Yes, because we were deeply motivated because there was like from one side creating space and yeah. the other getting finally rid of things that we didn't need anymore. Yeah. And as well, it created in us this uh, feeling of contribution because many of the items we got rid of we're actually going to donation. Yeah, exactly. So even though the items don't have a future in our home, they will have a future somewhere else. Through this challenge, what we learned is that it doesn't matter if we are minimalist or not. In our homes, there will be always something that doesn't bring value anymore in our lives. Yeah. So it's just the moment to understand what we need and what we can finally let go. And at the end we can say that the challenge was totally worth it. It created a lot of mental clarity and now we are kind of more aware what do we have in our house, what do we need and what we actually don't need in the future. We highly suggest to watch the documentary if you haven't watched it yet on Netflix. Yeah. We are sure that it will also give value in your life as it did to ours. Yes, but also remember that if you don't feel ready to get this challenge yet, just Question yourself and the items you have in your house asking, do I really need it? Yeah. And that's already a success. This was a step forward in our journey towards a healthier and happier life. And remember to stay kind and meaningful in your own beautiful journey. Ciao. Ciao.